Alaska Airlines has grounded its Boeing 737 MAX 9 fleet after one of its planes made an emergency landing in the U.S. state of Oregon. A section of the fuselage, including a window, blew out a few minutes after takeoff. Images posted to social media show a gaping hole in the side of the plane and oxygen masks hanging. There are no reports of any major injuries. The National Transport Safety Board says it's investigating the incident. I asked aviation expert Stephen Wright at Tampere University in Finland to explain how it happened. It appears that in flight, the aircraft uh, in a climb uh, about 15,000 feet has experienced a mechanical failure of some sort. By this mechanical failure, what appears to have happened is the aircraft is fitted with um, effectively fake doors. So certain customers of this aircraft uh, can, they could, the, the, the operators, they can squeeze in lots of extra seats, which means that uh, with lots of extra people on the aircraft, they need to have more doors available in the event of an emergency that have to be open to get everybody out quickly, like we saw in Japan recently. So not all, air, not all airlines need to have extra doors. So Boeing's come up with this idea where they can deactivate, remove completely these extra doors for this ultra high density type aircraft for the, path, for the airlines that don't need it, and then fit these covers, effectively fake doors that have got a window in it. So in all intents and purposes, the, uh, the outside of the aircraft, the inside of the aircraft just looks like a window. Mm. And it's this cover that has then separated, come off in flight. So, Stephen, would you say that's a weak spot of types in, in, in this production uh, process? Well, it, I've seen some of the photos, and from what I can see, it doesn't look like where the cover attaches to has fallen apart. In fact, it all looks rather nice and shiny um, and intact. Now, the interesting bit for me is that these covers will be held on by fastenings, bolts, and if you put the wrong type of fastening in or you don't attach the fastening correctly if it's not torqued or if the, the fastening's um, uh, not to the, the right specification, then that cover comes off. And this type of event, believe it or not, has happened before. So in um, 1990, a British Airways aircraft in the UK, its window fell out. Um, similar type experience in so much that the window in this case, it was held in by bolts. They put the wrong bolts on. You mentioned the aircraft was at 15,000 feet. Uh, how surprised are you that no one was actually hurt? I'm really surprised and it's, um, it's very fortunate. It seems that uh, where this panel completely detached and fell off, that because there weren't people sitting right next to, effectively, the, the hole in the future uh, that appeared, that they didn't have uh, significant injuries. Because even if the, um, the, the separating panel doesn't hit you, you then get things like debris being blown up and moved around the cabin at high speed because the aircraft is um, still climbing and it's flying reasonably fast. So the passengers sitting that would normally be sitting near there um, if they were right next to that hole, they would be hurt quite significantly. So, Stephen, what are going to be the, uh, the consequences, safety-wise, because of this incident? So, what's now happening is Alaskan Airlines have uh, grounded all of their aircraft because there's a big investigation that's just started. Uh, the investigation will be conducted by... Uh, the American investigators, which will be the NTSB. Um, in addition, uh, there will be input from Boeing. And this investigation will look at how the aircraft um, that, uh, uh, that are fitted with these fake doors, how they are um, at the moment for all of the other planes um, in, in this uh, uh, operation. And so they're going to be very keen to make sure that the doors, 
these door covers have been fastened correctly, it's likely to be an inspection requirement, so the plane will not be, be allowed to take off before an inspection takes place to make sure that the fastenings are correct and have been, uh, been put in properly. Professor of Aviation Stephen Wright, thank you very much for chiming in.